All right, guys. Um, Gav here again. Just another quick video, just a little update, just to show what I've been doing this evening. Um, so a while ago, for a competition or a forum that I'm a moderator on, we um, we had a vehicle competition. So I decided that I'd crack out with my Churchill crocodiles that's been sitting around for quite a while and uh, get one painted up for the competition. Fortunately, I never got it finished, but uh, I had an idea at the time to, to base it on a slight diorama um, just to make it a bit more interesting for this competition. And um, seeing Dan Buster starting a little diorama actually as well, and so you know, it made me think to, to get mine back out. And I already had the, the wood cut for it and stuff, so and some pencil ideas written out. So, so I thought I'd crack on with, with a bit of that this evening. So, so what you can see here is uh, it's kind of the start. So can't remember what size this this base is. It's just a bit of three mil NDF. It's four and a half by ten inches or so. Um, and basically, I, I wanted it to kind of depict the church of crocodile coming across a bit of no man's land and some kind of trench line or fortification or something. Um, so uh, going across the base, then at this end, what we've got here is a bit of a kind of trench line, although. It's so maybe just more of a kind of bit of banked air with some boarding behind it to provide a bit of a fire fire firing position. So I was going to put a bunker here, but I don't think I'm going to bother now. So um, I think I'm going to put some sandbags across the top. Um, I've got some plastic soldier company get figures with uh, with MGs from the half tracks aiming firing MGs. So I might see if I can't fit one of them on as well. As a bit of uh, as a bit of extra. Um, so basically, at the moment, the base has just been—it's just this ready mix filler you can see here, um, put across the base to give it that kind of uh, kind of just a texture. And I've just put a light sprinkling of uh, ballast across it as well, but thicker in some places, just to just to give it some more, use some you know, some even more texture. This is just built up filler. But it's a plastic card cut up into little duck boards. What we've got here is a set of kind of three crazers. Um, so. That's a figure. Um, that's a figure for scale, so kind of probably easily kind of depicting a barrage of, of mortar rounds. So there's three there. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it too detailed for um, not the greatest of this kind of thing. So um, uh, across here, got a kind of trackway area coming up here. I think what I might do is put a broken gate at the end here, and maybe some some fence across here. Which would logistically where a track could end. This bit is, can effectively be a field that's bombed up. It's going to have uh, some more debris, some some barbed wire and stuff. So I'll maybe have a fence line here, and this will be more kind of greener pasture, a uh, sort of dirt track. Um, so the tank in question is this particular one. And. Uh, so. Excuse me. So it's going to sit something like that. I'm tempted to, to play with the idea of putting some kind of flame projection coming out as it attacks, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I, want, I would want it to be removable for gameplay as well, so and it will just sit on this base. So Let's see if we can get a wee close-up of this tank. The tank itself is more or less finished. The aerial on top needs finished. The skin on the commander needs finished. Um, and a little bit of dirt and weathering. Um, if you see on the front there, there is a 79th Division markings. Um, turret, turret numbers freehand. And it's wee trailer. Some wire and barrels on the back there. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing this evening. So I think the uh, next step is to, to get it undercoated and try and figure out a way of how to depict some fence line. Um, and I'll add some barbed wire and uh, maybe a figure or two here. I might have these couple of spare riflemen um, uh, advancing up alongside the tank in support. Unfortunately, I uh, I don't have many. British infantry left over, but uh, yeah, so just another quick one, um, and uh, cheers, and we'll see you in the next one.